بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ یو آئی ہوپ یو ایڈ بی فائن دس از کیمرج پرائمری میتھامیٹکس بک سکس اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی آر گونا اسٹارٹ چیپٹر نمبر فور ایکسرسائز فور پوائنٹ ٹو وی آر آلریڈی ڈن ود فور پوائنٹ ون انکلوڈنگ انٹیجرس اینڈ ناؤ وی ہیو ٹو اسٹارٹ ود فور پوائنٹ ٹو وچ انکلوڈس یوزنگ دا ایرس ٹو ریپرزینٹ نمبرس سو لیٹ سی دیٹ واٹ ڈو وی ہیو ٹو ڈو ان دس ایکسرسائز ہیئر وی ہیو اے ویری گڈ کویشچن ان ورک ایگزامپل نمبر ٹو ویئر دی پیری میٹر آف دس ریکٹینگل از ٹوینٹی سینٹی میٹرس اینڈ وی نو دیٹ دا پیری میٹر ایکچولی ریپرزینٹس دی سم آف آل دی آؤٹر باؤنڈریز سم آف آل دی سائڈس outside okay so in a rectangle we have a pair of opposite sides that are equal to each other so we have two lengths and two breadths so we can say that if this side is t so this side would also be t if this side is s then this side would also be s so these two lengths are equal to each other and these two widths or breadths are also equal to each other they are saying that s and t represent the lengths of the sides of the rectangle so we are uh, required to find out the possible values of sides s and t if the perimeter of this rectangle is given as 20 centimeters they are asking us to figure out that what would be the sides of this rectangle always remember students the perimeter of a rectangle is actually the sum of two length and two breadths okay so if we simply divide 20 by 2 we will have one length and one breadth because there are two lengths and two breadths and the sum of all these four equals the perimeter so if we simply divide it by two so we will be left with one length and one breadth so what are we gonna do we will simply divide 20 by 2 we will get 10 it means the sum of one length and one breadth would be 10. So we can make very uh, many, 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 many possible um, lengths and breadths combinations. It could be, we can split 10 into 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and um, 6, 5 and 5. You see, so it could be length as one, breadth nine, length as two centimeters, breadth as eight centimeters, uh, length as three centimeters, breadth as seven centimeters, or it could be like this. So we can make so many combinations over here. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine possible uh, values of sides S and T. So in some cases, the side length would be one and in other cases, the breadth would be one. So there are nine possibilities for lengths and breadths for this rectangle having a perimeter of 20 centimeters. So if you check for e, any, any of these rectangles, you will find that the perimeter of all these combinations would be 20 centimeters, okay? Now let's move to exercise 4.2. Here comes question number one of 4.2. It says, Sheng plays a board game using a dice. This is a dice that you people usually use to play Ludo games, right? He uses the instructions together with his dice score to work out how many spaces he moves. D represents the dice score, for example, his score is given as 5 over here we have to calculate d plus 4 so it would be 9 spaces why because the value of d is the face that is upward in this dice so if d represents the face up the dice score which is uh, above this dice so we just have to substitute the value of d with the dice score that is 5 and adds 4 into it so we will get spaces moved to be 9 okay now we have to work out how many spaces Sheng moves if it's d minus 3 here it is 6 so it's 6 minus 3 equals to 3 spaces he has to move 3 spaces then it's 2 so 6 minus 2 equals to 4 then here we have 3 so 4 plus 3 equals to 7. How easy and interesting it is. Okay, before moving to question number 2, students, let me tell you that there is a law of uh, addition which is called commutative law of addition which says that when you add two numbers, when you add two values, 
b a at any values so the sum would be equal whether the numbers are written in the same order or not like if we have two numbers for example 2 and 3 and I am adding 2 plus 3 so I will get the same answer if I add 3 with 2 so it means 2 plus 3 equals to 3 plus 2 because 2 plus 3 is 5 and 3 plus 2 is also 5 similarly let's take um, uh, minus 2 plus uh, 5 okay and here we have 5 plus minus 2 okay both of the numbers are the same minus 2 minus 2 5 and 5 we are adding two different numbers a positive and a negative number on either sides so let's see are we going to get the same answers on either sides or not so it will be minus 2 plus 5 equals um, uh, minus plus minus 5 minus 2 equals 3 and here it is 5 plus minus minus 5 minus 2 equals 3 so again in this case we are getting the same answers it proves that when you add two numbers their order their uh, position does not matter their answer would be the same this is called the commutative law of addition but this law does not apply to subtraction we cannot say that uh, we, if we subtract 5 with 2 it would be the same as 2 minus 5 no it won't be the same because if I subtract 5 with 2 I will get 3 but if I subtract 2 with 5 I will not get 3 instead I'm going to get minus 3 and since they are not equal to each other it means that law does not apply to subtraction here we were not subtracting okay don't um, get confused with these two situations here we have an addition sign between two different numbers okay so it's basically we are adding a positive and a negative number but here the situation was changed or you can make it um, like this 5 plus minus 2 equals to 2 plus minus 5 so you can now understand the difference between these two situations here we have 5 here it's minus 5 here it's minus 2 and here it's positive 2 so they are not the same numbers uh, and when we talk about this one so here we have same numbers minus 2 so here we have also minus 2 plus 5 and here we have also plus 5 so these two are different situations and so the law would be applied accordingly so let's now talk about question number two which says for each pair of expressions write equal or not equal d plus 4 and 4 plus d here we have two numbers d plus 4 4 plus d they are equal to each other if you put any number in place of d like 5 or 6 or 7 so it becomes 7 plus 4 equals 4 plus 7 5 plus 4 equals 4 plus 5 i told you that this law applies in uh, addition similarly 2 plus d equals to d plus 2 that is also equals to but when we talk about 5 minus d so it's not equals to d minus 5 instead we can say that if it would have been like this 5 minus d equals to minus d plus 5 okay but it's not 5 d 5 minus d equals to d minus 5 they are not equals to each other okay now question number 3 says Khalid says d plus 3 is the same as 3 plus d so d minus 3 must be the same as 3 minus d is Khalid correct no Khalid is not correct because in this case the commutative law of addition applies but here the commutative law of addition does not apply now come to the next page page number 59 here comes question number four which says martha buys two more pairs of socks than shoes okay so she has bought uh, if she has bought one pair of shoe she has bought two more pairs of socks than shoe so it would be two plus one that is if she, for every one pair of shoes she has bought three pairs of socks that what it means because she has bought two more socks than shoes like if there is one pair of shoes so she has not bought only two pairs of socks she has bought two more pairs of socks than shoes so two more than one two more than one would be three not two okay make sure that there is a difference between two more pairs of socks than shoes or two times pairs of socks than shoes okay so it's not two times it says two more pairs of socks okay here you have to understand this very well that you are saying that the 
कि जितने भी शूज खरीदे हैं उसके अगेंस्ट में उसने दो पेयर ऑफ सॉक्स ज्यादा खरीदे हैं दो पेयर ऑफ सॉक्स नहीं खरीदे बल्कि उसने दो पेयर ऑफ सॉक्स शूज से ज्यादा खरीदे हैं तो अगर एक शू खरीदा है तो उसमें से दो ज्यादा क्या होंगे वन प्लस टू ओके सो नाउ वट डू वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू कॉपी एंड कम्प्लीट द टेबल वेर एक्स रिप्रेजेंट्स दी नंबर ऑफ पेयर ऑफ शूज एंड वाई रिप्रेजेंट्स दी नंबर ऑफ पेयर ऑफ सॉक्स सो इफ शी हैज बॉर वन पेयर ऑफ शूज सो शी वुड हैव बॉर वन प्लस टू थ्री पेयर ऑफ सॉक्स तो इफ शी हैज बॉर टू पेयर ऑफ शूज सो शी हैज बॉर टू प्लस टू फोर पेयर ऑफ सॉक्स and if she has bought six pairs of socks so the number of shoes would be 6 minus 2 that is 4 because the number of shoes is less two less than the number of pairs of socks and the number of pairs of socks is two more than the number of pairs of shoes okay now we have to write a number sentence linking x y and 2 let's get back to the statement which was two more pairs of socks than shoes so for every shoes there are two more socks so what are we doing we are doing it like this y equals to x plus 2 x plus 2 becomes 3 1 plus 2 equals 3 2 plus 4 2 plus 2 equals 4 so we can say that 2 plus 2 equals 4 1 plus 2 equals a uh, 3 theek hai 3 plus 2 equals 5 4 plus 2 equals 6 plus 2 is constant over here so we can write plus 2 over here and this represents the number of shoes which is x so we can say that x plus 2 and this represents the number of socks 3 4 6 and which is represented by y so it becomes y is equals to x plus 2 okay or you can say that uh if we subtract these two x and y we will get 2 so it can be like this y minus x is equals to 2 or you can say that um x is equals to y minus 2 all three equations are correct in terms of एक्स वाई एंड टू ठीक है यहाँ पर आप ये भी कह सकते हो कि x में प्लस टू करेंगे तो y की वैल्यू आ जाएगी y में टू माइनस करेंगे तो x की वैल्यू आ जाएगी और y और x को माइनस करेंगे तो भी टू आंसर आएगा ठीक है थ्री माइनस वन टू आंसर आएगा फोर माइनस टू टू आंसर आएगा सिक्स माइनस फोर टू आंसर आएगा ठीक है Now comes question number five. It says this puzzle has nine pieces. As you can see over here, here we have three nine different pieces. Okay, Hasan plays uh, places one or more shapes, and Sanjay places the other shapes. Okay, copy and complete this table to show the number of pieces each person places. So if the number of pieces placed by Hasan and y number of pieces placed by Sanjay. So they are saying Hasan places one or more shapes, and Sanjay places the other shapes so if hasan uh, uh, places one shape and there are nine so sanjay will place eight remaining eight if hasan will place two so sanjay will place seven 2 plus 7 9 because the total of hasan's and sanjay's pieces would should be nine okay so we will go on like this 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, and nine. So it would be three plus uh, six, four plus five, five plus four, six plus three, seven plus two, eight plus one, nine plus zero. So this is how we are gonna solve this one. If Hasan will place only one block, then Sanjay will place the remaining eight. If Hasan will place two, Sanjay will place the remaining seven, and accordingly we will do it like this. And at the end, if Hasan place all nine blocks over here, because since we have only eight blocks, so if he plays all all the blocks himself, so Sanjay won't be uh, placing any of them. So the number sentence linking x, y, and nine, so it would be x. Plus y is equals to nine. When we add these two numbers, this is x, 
This is y. If x is 1, y is 8. And 1 plus 8 makes 9. If x is 2, y is 7. So 2 plus 7 is 9. So the link between x and y would be x plus y is equals to 9. Okay, students, so we are done till question number 5. Inshallah, in the next video, we are going to do the remaining 3 to 4 questions of this exercise. Until then, take care. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Allah Hafiz.